Hey everybody, I just bought, I'd like to tell you about a Bluetooth hacking device I have on my phone. Now, the whole point of a Bluetooth hacking device is it hacks into people's phones and then you can do stuff to them. But every Bluetooth hacking device I've seen so far asks permission to get into the phones you're trying to hack into. Oh yes, sir, I'd like to hack into your phone. Do I have permission? Oh yes, of course. No, not going to work, is it? They should remove permission requesting software from hacking devices. And I think they need to create a device that allows your Bluetooth to have a more significant range. Because it's now it seems to be like the range of whatever's in the building with you. But only within a certain area. If I sit in a certain place in a shopping centre, I stand in a certain place in a shopping centre, I could pick up five people. But as I'm searching for people, if I walk through the shopping centre, I could pick up nearly everyone. Which is weird. So, uh, yeah, they should have like, more of a radius, like, um, I think it's currently about like, 100 metres. No, it's way too big. No, so I think it's probably like 10 metres or something. So they crap like that. Not something like a kilometre. Yeah, fucking massive range of people like you connecting to people's phones and live in Lincoln and you live in Boston. Yeah, just like I do, you know, I live in Boston. Big hacking into people's phones in Lincoln and Yorkshire. They could widen it up further or bring it off a satellite so they could do it worldwide or something. Yeah, hacking to someone's phones in America. Get them to ring me up. Hello, yeah. Yeah, I just hacked into your phone, got you to ring me. Yeah, that's funny. So, yeah, so, yeah. They should definitely widen the range of a Bluetooth device and then make the hackers not ask permission. But yeah, I'm waffling on about absolute bollocks. Well, I can control my phone while it's in camera mode, but all I can do is change the brightness level and pause or stop the video. So I'm going to pause it right now, and then unpause it just like that, and you'll notice that there's a slight movement in what you see. So if I suddenly go, and that's how I do it. I'll probably then you, you, yeah. I'm from Dudley, the chair. Then you. I'm from Dudley, and I'm considerably richer than you. I'm richer than you. Yeah. So now you see how it works. And uh, you can do a lot of things really with the phone. You can uh, control the uh, cameras. You can look at the information of the phone. Find out what they're on. Find out the roomy number. Uh, then you can make their phone ring and uh, call someone, change the language of the phone, press different keys, look in their phone book, uh, read their text messages, switch it on and off silent mode, check the phone functionalities, change the ring volume, set alarms up, change the clock, lock the phone if you know the PIN number. Once you get to know what phone they've got and what network it's on, T-Mobile's default PIN number is 1210. In England, anyway, that looks, that's the same around the world. But then you can change PIN number to whatever you like it. Their phone's no good to them. They throw it in the bin, you pick it up, you've got a brand new phone. That's flawed and ceiling, so I wouldn't advise doing that. You can look at their operator, whatever that is. You can change the phone profile, switch it into in-car mode, something stupid like that. Look at the Java settings, like get into the games and crap. Uh, set the media player off, text someone, check the applications, uh, change the key sounds, um, get into their devices, and then hack them. Change the volume level of the phone, check the memory status, switch the radio on if they've got the headphones plugged in, you just whack the radio on, full blast, turn it up, you know. And just whack it on like that, and they can. <laughs> they can uh, use the key lock to lock and unlock their phone, which sometimes makes a noise. And then you've got custom commands where you can step one up so that when you click it, it automatically sends every contact from their phone book to your phone via Bluetooth. 
uh, and then you can look at their Bluetooth connection. So you can actually do quite a lot. Now if anyone wants this Bluetooth hacker, just uh, write it as a comment on this YouTube video, and then, uh, uh, or you can send me a message, and I'll ask for your email address. So it's better to just send me a message with your email address, isn't it, and tell me you want the Bluetooth packet. I'll send it to you. You have to put it into your phone in the folder marked other. You click on it in the folder when you've got your phone normally working, not on your computer. And uh, it'll install it and say where do you want to put it. You put it into games or applications. I'll put it into applications because that's what it is. Not really a game, is it? Unless you have fun with it. Then it could be a game, but it's still just application. And uh, it's called BT Info, and you can't change the name of it. It's called BT Info, and that's that. Uh, after you've installed it, uh, the first time you use it, it'll take you to a settings page. You scroll all the way to the bottom, just above where it says C, other, like the letter C, and then other. But just above that, it should be a thing that says Zdansk, and that's because it's in Slovakian, because it's a Slovakian, uh, Slovakian um, application created by someone called Marek. And uh, you can set it from Slovakian to English, I think French and Spanish or something, uh, it's kind of some languages anyway. And, uh, once you've done that, it's all in English or whatever language you put it in, and then you can just start using it. So yeah, if anyone wants this, uh, just let me know. And then I'm going to press the button mark, left key, and it will stop the recording of the video. And just to show, I'm not doing it with my other hand, I'll put that into the view of the camera. There's no one else in the room because this is set up right in the corner. And so I just push the button mark left key and it stops the video instantly. Just like this.